Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking us out here at uh, Team L Productions. So I got some exciting news here. Um, I bought a Subaru WRX. Um, I don't know what year it is, but I bought it. Pretty cool car. Manual. It's pretty cool. Just kidding. It's a buddy of mine's car. He's storing it here while he's away and uh, overseas. So we got a Subaru to play with here too. Just kidding. I, I won't drive your car, man. I'm not like that. Uh, back to the point of the video, though. I have picked up a non-PI um, two-valve motor from a 99 Crown Vic. Uh, non-PI. You can see it's got these uh, teardrop-style anti ports and heads. Um, Long story short, um, I got this for two hundred dollars. Has one hundred and sixteen thousand miles on it, and uh, it's pretty in nice shape, honestly. It's it's I believe that um, uh, chains and stuff like that were original from ninety nine. Had date code. Has one bad chain guide. Um, motor mounts are still good. Uh, new alternator tensioner. Blah blah blah. Basically, what I'm going to do is clean this thing awfully well. And uh, I have, um, that's the old intake and stuff off of it. Um, these are the cylinder heads off of that parts motor I bought back in last summer for 50 bucks. And I had taken these and had these ported polished valve job, new valves. Um, they are very, very nice heads. They're clean. Um, I will admit the machine shop I took them to, I'm not all that impressed by them, um, but these are por uh, ported. I did not like that they did not machine the top of this like I asked them to, but uh, beehive valve springs, uh, retainers, um, they were cleaned very nice, like I say, poured and polished. So I have stage four cop cams. I will be putting in these heads. And then I have the head changing kit, so those heads will be going on this motor. Those of you that are not familiar with the two valve engines, let me get a flashlight and I'm going to show you exactly why I went this route. Um, if you know, you know. I just got to find a flashlight first. Um, here we go. The non PI2 valves have semi flat top pistons, they are a very, very, very small dish. Okay? Like very very tiny dish to them okay now if you go to a pi motor the pi motors have a much bigger dish to them and so by running the non-pi heads so if you look at these these have a much bigger dish maybe it's hard to see in the camera but uh these have a much much deeper dish to them so what ends up happening is when you put PI heads on a non-PI motor, you bump up the compression from 9.6 to 1 to about 10.5 to 1. Now, with that, ported heads, stage 4 cams, uh, I have, what else was it, uh, underdrive pulleys for this and uh, headers and all sorts of fun stuff. My end goal is I'm going to hope to make around 400 crank horsepower, 350 at the wheels is my goal. I have a uh, aluminum flywheel for this thing and a uh, stage three spec race clutch for it off the, uh, the 05 motor. Um, PI intake, you know, cold air intake. Um, going to get a tune for it and all stuff and I'm uh, really hoping to see some, some decent power out of it. But, uh, that's the plan. I'm going to clean this up really good. Hoping to slap these heads on here tomorrow. Well, technically today when I wake up. And then I'll put the cams in there. Um, I'm actually going to reuse the uh, lash adjusters and roller followers in this thing. Um, they're actually in really nice shape. So I'm just going to reuse them because I don't have really the money to spend for new stuff. Even more so. But... Uh, I got a rear main seal for this thing too. I got the front main seal kit for it. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty cool thing. And I got my 78 millimeter throttle body for it. 
and what have you. And uh, what, what led to doing all this was when I had watched my last video about the frame on this being rusted out. This started off as being a simple, put in my new control arms, tie rods and springs for the front. And this turned into a frame job that I don't have time for right the second, but uh, that frame is all rusted completely out. And uh, the correct way to fix this is to take the motor out and cut this all out and do inside and outside and weld it correctly. So uh, that's what I intend on doing. And I thought, well, if I'm pulling the motor out, I don't want to put this one back in. This will go into the Grey Goose and uh, have that up and running. So I figure on top of that, too, didn't even touch any of the other cooling system. And no bullshit. Had a coolant leak. Lower hose, brand new. Don't know what happened. It's tight. All leaked out. Um, so we got that going for us. And uh, so I figured now is the best time to pull this motor out and then uh, put the uh, somewhat built motor in here. Um, I did order 47 pound injectors. I'll be getting a fuel pump and then fuel rails. I'll be running E85 on this car. So we'll see what she makes with all that stuff all said and done. Like I say, um, this cold air intake here is going to end up going um, on the gray car too. It's just a small uh, SR Performance one off American Muscle, nothing expensive. So hopefully uh, we'll get this all done here somewhat soon. And I'll let you guys know what it makes. I got to schedule a dyno day too for the cams. If you do do stage fours and injectors and all that stuff, you have to do cam uh, a tune, custom tune. So I am going to uh, go ahead and do all that and uh, see where we're at. And hopefully before summer's over, I can drive this thing, give you guys a good number of what it will make power wise. Um, so keep checking back. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, we'll catch you guys later.